Hello guys and welcome to a new video Before I start I have to warn you that I'll be talking a lot in this video So if you're here for the gameplay then skip to the time shown on the screen So today I have a quick gameplay for you Showcasing what I believe is the best class for solo battle squad players Which is the trap master And I know a lot of you hate this class and find it annoying That includes me too But toxic times requires toxic solutions And what I mean by that I'm gonna be using this class to try and counter shotgun players I'm sure all of you know by now that we're currently living in the the shotguns era where i would say 95 percent of the players are using shotguns and i'm not gonna lie it's annoying mainly due to the nature of shotguns and how they work because most of the shotguns can send you back to the lobby with just one shot and that just hits so hard it can actually kill you even with 300 hp and three armor plates stacked on top of it from the refitter class this this, this is not okay this needs to stop now and this was the case for a very long time but I didn't have any issues with shotguns before because first of all there was a good balance between shotgun and SMG players and second of all the chances of getting one shotted in the early game were much lower because ground loot shotguns like the KRM and the BY-15 required good aim and more skill to use but nowadays you can get one shotted easily with a ground loot KRM even without an attachment now I believe there are two reasons why we have too many shotgun players in the game first of all the adjustment they made back in season 6 where there reduce the damage of some shotguns but in return they increase the number of pellets and I'm not a shotgun user myself so I can't tell whether that adjustment was a buff or a nerf but as a victim to shotgun enemies I can tell you that the odds of me getting one shotted significantly increased plus as I mentioned the number of shotgun players increased rapidly so overall I tend to believe that it was more of a buff especially to the KRM And I think the second reason for the increase of shotgun players is the continuous nerfs to SMGs. We've seen two big nerfs done to the hipfire accuracy. First of all, as you shoot, you'll notice that the SMG crosshairs gets bigger and bigger, which means that the hipfire accuracy becomes lower. And the season after that, they made a base 20% hipfire nerf to every single SMG. Not to mention all the other individual damage and range nerfs. But in all honesty, and as an SMG user, I can confirm that many SMGs like the Mac 10 and the Fennec, and even the MX9 when it came out, deserved a nerf but I think they went too far with the nerfs to a point where they just killed most of them because the thing is when facing shotgun enemies first of all you gotta pray they miss their shot and even if they do you need a gun that has a fast killing time enough for you to punish them for that miss and right now and because of the SMG nerfs we don't really have many options so these nerfs made many players switch sides from SMGs to shotguns and you know what the funny thing is, there is a gun that exceeds the power of all SMGs and makes them look weak. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. This legend right here. In my opinion, this gun is the most powerful close range gun in the game right now. I mean, why do we even use SMGs when this gun exists? It's like SMGs and shotguns mated and this was their baby. A gun that shoots like an SMG and has the damage of a shotgun. I can give this gun to a 100 years old granny and she would wipe a full squad of pros with it. Like in here for example. I got this clip from a friend where both him and his team got killed with one shot each from a jack 12 even though he was at 300 hp and to confirm my point i recently made a post about the jack 12 and the fact that many players are using it especially in garena server and i noticed that many comments were saying that they use the jack 12 to counter one top shotguns like the hs so it's no longer smgs versus shotguns it's shotguns versus shotguns and I know that shotguns are a big part of the game and I know many players enjoy using them. But when everyone is using a certain type of gun, then you know that there is something wrong. And I believe as a result, we might see another adjustment coming soon that will hopefully work for both SMG and shotgun users. But until then, we gotta suck it up and find a solution which brings me back to why I chose Trap Master to counter shotgun players. And just to be clear, they can still one-shot you no matter what, but we're just making it harder for them to do so. Because first of all, when you deploy a trap, you get a speed boost that lasts up to 5 seconds without an upgrade and 10 seconds after the upgrade which makes you a harder target and increases your chances of dodging their shots Second of all, if you manage to catch them in the trap, then you cripple them, slowing them down and preventing them from sliding and jumping and at the same time they become easy targets allowing you to hit more of your shots Thank you. 
Now we'll move on to the gameplay. It's not really the best gameplay as I didn't have many kills in this game, but you'll know why later on the video, which is another issue that I'm dealing with. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Just to show you how obsessed players are with shotguns in my server, this guy named himself a BY-16. It's like they're born with shotguns attached to their arms. And to make things even worse, nowadays we also have to deal with hackers. They're spreading like cancer. And you know what's concerning is that this hacker right here is using hacks on his main account. He's using Scarlet character with a legendary M4 skin. So it's either he's confident that he won't get banned, or maybe he's just too rich to care. And it's not like he's using wall hacks only. No, he's hardcore hacking with speed and aimbot and wall hacks. Anyway, it became a normal thing to see hackers in the Middle East server. It's not a surprise anymore. And in most cases, you're gonna die. But the best way to survive hackers is to avoid long range fights. Notice that this hacker went all the way to the mountain to kill me because I think their aimbots works better at long ranges and he almost killed me with his M21. So try to take cover inside buildings and force them to have close range fights. Just make sure the building has double walls in it or metal walls strong enough to block their bullets because they can still wall bang you with their aimbot. Eventually this coward decided to avoid the fight. He knows I have trap master that can counter his speed hacks and even hackers are afraid of shotguns because they know they can get killed with one shot. So so he decided to play it safe and look for other targets. Enjoy your trip. This guy was the hacker's teammate. I thought he was AFK, but it seems like he was stuck. His aim and reaction were also insane, but I don't think he's hacking. He's probably a good player. I don't even know anymore. So at this point, I was looking at the kill feed, trying to figure out the name of the cheater so that I can get ready to fight him. It took him a while, but he finally shows up. And I know it's him because he was using a legendary M4 and the M21 that he lasered me with in Black Market. He was just running across the map, killing everyone on his way. Trap deployed. Trap deployed. The revived flight will arrive in one minute.
So right here, I met the hacker. He melted two players in like two seconds. And I knew he was coming for me next. So again, I took cover and I tried to force him to a close range fight. He fired two shotgun bullets and none of them hit me. I'm not really sure but maybe the speed boost from the trap saved me. My guess is that their aimbot doesn't work with enemies with a speed boost activated. That would make sense because even in black market he avoided me when he realized I have a trap master. Either way he got clapped and I waited for his teammates to make sure he doesn't come back. In the end, I thought that the last enemy was trolling or maybe he wanted to team up. So I was messing around. But he suddenly pulls out his gun to kill me. And guess what gun it was? Again, it wasn't the best gameplay, my goal of this video was to show you what I'm dealing with these days. You saw how many shotgun players I ran into. Even the enemies that don't have shotguns, it's mostly because they didn't find one. Or maybe they didn't get a chance to loot an airdrop. Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.